to serve with the military this summer and kind of, I guess, what that's going to look like for you? Uh, yeah, it's something that we have to do before we're 30. So just figured if we're not going to be playing in the postseason this this year, then it's going to be a good time to do it now instead of just postponing it and then eventually have to do it in a time that wouldn't work so well for me. So decided to do it now and uh, we'll see how it goes. I've obviously never been, so uh, see how that looks. How long? Yeah. I don't know exactly how many days it is, but like I said, it's, we'll figure it out. And I'm going to a place like there's a lot of athletes, so I'm sure they're, they've dealt with different professional athletes before, so we'll see how it looks. But I'll, I can definitely give you guys some info after after uh, I come back. I did some, like, just doing research on it. It looks like some NHL players have had to do like two summers. Is that a potential? Yeah, it's like if, if a lot of like non-athletes have to do six months or a year, then it might be that you have to do it two separate summers because obviously the summer is not long enough for us to do it in one summer. So we'll see how many days we I get to knock out this summer and uh, go from there. But I've definitely, I, I've had some friends that I've done like two months, one summer, and then finish out the next next summer. So we'll see. I, I definitely don't want it to affect the basketball part. So we'll figure out a good combination. Has your brother done it? Huh? Has your brother done it? Yeah, both of them, yeah. yeah. Have you gotten any feedback on what you'll be doing? No, not really. Uh, sure, it'll start out. I mean, they're mostly probably 18-year-olds that just graduated from high school. So I'm sure it's going to be some stuff that I know how to do that I might have not known at 18. So uh, I'm sure it starts with pretty basic stuff. So like I said, I'm going to give you guys the whole spill when I know more. You will need an entire rundown on how they found a uniform your size. That's, that's what I'm very interested yeah, in. Yeah, the shoes and everything. So yeah. we'll see. Uh, how different is this other than the military stuff going into the off season after the year you've had versus your your prior, uh, your previous season? So which one are you asking? The We're Just done with the military part, right? Basketball, not okay. yet. Down with the military okay. part. Yeah, as a basketball player. Uh... I mean, there's always stuff that you can, you think you know you can work on during the summer. But I think just this year having the ball in my hands more, and uh, I think it was a good challenge this year just to see different coverages from teams because it was a big part of the offense that we were do doing. And uh, I, I think I got a lot better throughout the year, year. But it it all also showed me that I how much better I can get with having the ball in my hands and making decisions for myself and my teammates and. So it's going to be an exciting summer, and I'm really looking forward to working on that stuff. Are there other parts of your game that, where you felt like you really took a leap forward that really evolved over the course of the season? Yeah, like I said, it really didn't have that kind of role before. So just seeing different covers, seeing double teams, and just you have to be able to make the right plays out of those. And I think, like I said, I think I got better, but still so many things I can work on. and. I mean, there's. I didn't see too many open catch and shoots at the end of the year, so obviously just going to be doing more uh, off the dribble and off the move kind of shot shooting and stuff like that. We know it's a big goal for you to make the playoffs. How difficult were these last couple of weeks as you guys just had to go through all the guys sitting out and see that goal kind of slip away? Yeah, it's a. Obviously, everybody wants to be a part of that and eventually win the whole thing so really wanted to get that experience but it wasn't our time yet and I know we have a great group of guys on player side but also the staff and organization that we're definitely gonna get there eventually but obviously you want everything now so I mean it's disappointing but we're we have a bright future out of us so it's got to look at the big picture. Do you see yourselves in the playoffs next as early as next year? I mean, obviously we ha we'll see how the team's going to look. I, I think we have plenty of guys that are uncertain if they're going to be here or not. So obviously not my stuff to worry about, but I'm, I think we got a great group of guys and I think we can definitely make a push for it next year. So that's the goal. 
You mentioned a bright future. What specifically makes you think that it's bright? Young guys and just seeing how much they progress throughout the year, uh, Walker and Ocha especially, and seeing the tail, seeing tail and get those reps and uh, just seeing the overall progression of the team and how we get more and more time on the court with each other and get on the same page. So I'm excited. You came into the year having been traded twice in the last 15 months, right? Like, do you feel like with this season you kind of established here as a home for you for, for the long term? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm, me and my family are really happy here. So obviously, like I talked about the team, I'm excited for the direction that we're going. And uh, so hopefully, obviously it's a business you never know, but hopefully I was able to make good enough of impression that I would stick around here. Have you heard from the front office about that at all? I mean, I know if the right deal comes up, but they're, I know the business, but I mean, I know the article came out that Danny told me to buy a house, so I'm sure that's what you're referring to. Uh, I did buy a house, so hopefully, hopefully I stick around. But is there like a sense of relief going into like a summer that you're like, at least hoping and knowing kind of that you're going to stay in the same team? Yeah. Uh, like I said, we were happy here, so we're excited to come back. Um, looking forward to it, obviously. Big summer ahead of us when go, going into that next year and trying to make that playoff push. And uh, But we really enjoyed our time here, so can't wait to be back. What does getting better look, look like for Larry Marketing this summer? In, uh, I don't know what you're exactly asking. Specifically, what parts of your game? Uh, like I said, uh, just stuff off the dribble, I think creating for myself and for my teammates and just going to be a lot of ball handling and uh, shooting off the move. Like I said, not not a lot of catch and shoots probably coming up. So, I mean, you never know how the team's going to look, but towards the end of the year, it was more just running off screens or stuff like that. So definitely going to keep working on that. And obviously the things that I was doing well, just to keep improving those and making the right reads and so I'm excited. How do you feel you've grown as a leader? Obviously you guys lost the really important locker room leader in Mike Conley at the yeah. trade deadline and like Will was talking about around that time that the onus is on you now. How do you feel you've grown in that area? I think I've gotten more comfortable. Uh, like he said, it's just I've, I've been the guy who tried to lead by example and trying to do the work and uh, do the right thing and but I think just me trying to be a little bit more on that uncomfortable territory and try to lead vocally and uh, talk to the guys. So I know there's still some work to do, but uh, it's another challenge that I'm really excited to take on, really. You've got, okay. we, we talked earlier in the year about how much All-Star meant to you, how much was All-NBA mean to you versus most improved player versus mean to you and like, is one of those wars more important than the other? You know, <laughs> which should I vote you for? <laughs> <laughs> Not that last question, but like, why? You should vote those? both. <laughs> uh, so, what was the question? <laughs> which of those awards would matter most to you? Uh, they're they're both big. I think just like I I take a lot of pride in the work I put in and just seeing the progress I was able to make this year and obviously. A lot of credit goes to the guys in that on that side locker room, and uh, but I think the most improved would be pretty cool just in that regard that I have put in a lot of work and just seeing it pay off it would, it would mean a lot. But obviously at the same time, all NBA would be meaning here over there at, at the top with those other guys, so it would be a big deal as well. So. I haven't really thought about it. I can't really. You should both. You should vote and both. Uh, but <laughs> I think I probably will, but then you'll stop being nice to me, so I don't know. Never. Yeah, we'll see who votes next year. <laughs> <laughs> Where does the team need to get better next year? Uh, just I think uh, the consistent part, uh, showing up every night. I, I, we were able to compete every game this year, but I think just growing into that being able to win those close games and do it in consistently obviously we watch we watch film of other teams as well 
the five minutes of the game or whatever and try to learn from those and uh winning is a skill in my opinion i think we just gotta get better at that like we've been in ev most of the game this year so just being able to close those ones out and uh so i think that's the big thing but just keep getting better getting on the same page and that'll come what's uh what's walker like as a person he's great uh, i wish i had him here with me uh uh, he's a hard worker, so it's obviously good to share the court with him. But in the locker room, he's an even better guy. Can uh, throwing out those lame jokes and uh, thinking he's funny. But I mean, he's a he's a great guy to be around, and uh, that's one of the guys I try to lead. Obviously, his first year, so I've seen some stuff throughout my six years in the NBA. I try to help him as much as I can, and uh, but. So definitely, I want to spend even more time with him next year and just to get to know him and uh, keep building this thing. Was there anything you did this year that surprised you? That you're like, wow, I, I got to this in my game. I didn't know I could get there. Uh, not, not really. Like I, like I said, I've been putting the work and I've really always believed I can do this stuff and uh, think it's everything happened to click this year with the coaching staff and system and teammates and everything so I've learned a ton of stuff I don't I wouldn't say it surprised me yeah. other than the what one reverse dunk I had I've never done that before we were talking to Colin yesterday and he said that he didn't know that you had like a wife and kids and, like, <laughs> until you. you guys came to Utah and and he was talking yeah about I mean really because he got hurt right. eight games into my year in Cleveland and so he was rehabbing and stuff. So I, I, I don't blame him. Yeah, he said that partially the injury because, like, he wasn't around the team yeah. as much, but also that here it feels like there's more of an emphasis for, like, players and their families and their wives and their girlfriends and everyone to get together. Is that your experience, that it just seems like that's more of an emphasis here? Yeah, for sure. Uh, they've done some stuff in the previous organization I've been in, but I think – what I've heard from my wife, it feels like they're doing stuff all the time. And organization takes really good care of them. And uh, just seeing kids running in the hallways. And so it's a pretty cool environment to be in, just to see everybody coming together and uh, doing stuff together. And uh, I know my wife's being happy here. So, yeah, definitely feels like they're doing more. Yeah, so you mentioned you wish Walker was with you now, and obviously we've had a lot of post game where both of you are here at the same time. What has he, what is having him around you done for you personally? How how does that help you? Uh, on the court or? Yeah, any direction you want. With post game, in the locker room, on the court. Yeah, on the court, I think obviously he's a great player, and he's gotten better at the team stuff as well, and uh, just having that kind of shot blocker and defensive minded guy and obviously he got better offensively as well but just having that support there it really helped our team and and myself kind of you can pick up on guys on defensively knowing that you have that help behind you and uh, so it really helped and 